I know things haven't gone exactly as planned, but you're a starter on an offensive line that's produced the number six rushing attack in the country to this point. Is there, are you able to look at some of the positives and say, you know, things, there are things going in the right direction, even though, you know, it's been tough through this losing streak? Yeah, most definitely. You know, uh, looking at the season as a whole, this isn't where we want to be, of course. Um, looking at us being number six in the nation and the Russian attack is like, you know, a testament to Corey and Monty and those guys and us up front. So, you know, it's it's there's negatives of it, but there's also positives with, you know, stuff like that and good things going in the offense. Sounds like Sunday was a difficult day maybe with people getting called out after a, a tough game. How, how did you see that with the team? How did it go? And are you guys better for it? Um, yeah, I think we're most definitely better for it, you know. Sometimes you, you kind of need meetings like that, you know, it'll kind of bring you back down to reality, help you a little bit. Um, I think the guys kind of needed that. They looked at it kind of more as a challenge, you know, to the guys that are here. Um, the, the challenge would be to send these seniors off right. You know, the guys coming back next year, it's uh, a challenge to shift the culture and, and make it better overall. Coach Danico talked about that there's, you know, 85 to 90% of the guys in the team mm -hmm. are together and they're doing everything that they need to be doing, but there's that 15 to 10%. How hard is it to know that you, most of you are doing everything that, that's necessary, there's some that aren't, and maybe how it shines a light on how hard it is to keep this huge roster together and how important it is for success? Um, you know, every team I feel like kind of has like, you know, a couple of oddballs. Um, sometimes it can hurt, like, you know, when you're doing the right thing, but at the same time, you know, you still got to dig into those guys, show those guys love, uh, try to get them to be as one, join the team as a culture, and, you know, come together. There were five sacks uh, the last game, certainly not all on you, but, I mean, uh, how does that work? I mean, you, you guys just get upset with yourselves, or is it the same race saying, come on, dudes, or, or what's up? But obviously, if five sacks, that's, that's too many. Mm -hmm. um, you know, us as an offensive lineman, we pride ourselves on protecting the quarterback running the ball and being able to, to execute at a high level. Um, having five sacks, you know, it's unacceptable to us as a whole line in our room. Um, it's something, though, that you don't want to get in your head about, most definitely, because you'll, you'll start to, you know, kind of lose the game and, and, and don't move on to the next play. But, uh, you know, it's something that, that we look at uh, Sundays and Mondays and, and see where we messed up on and how we can improve. And, you know, it's something that we make sure uh, will never happen again. Andrew transferred in from Louisville, and he's had a solid season. What's the dynamic like when you're you have these all these new guys coming in at the offensive line, and you're trying to like learn from them and see what they're doing and what's caused them success? Then you can utilize it in your game. Um, man, Luke's came in from Louisville. You know, he was with Coach Sack, Coach Carwell, those guys. Uh, he knew what to expect, and you know, for me as an offensive lineman, uh, Gav and and other guys that have been here, like John, you know, it was almost like a shining light having him. You know, understanding exactly what Coach Sapp wanted and what Coach Carr wanted as, you know, him being with them. So, uh, you know, he's been nothing nothing but a great help, man. Continuity and playing together is such a big key mm -hmm. to offensive line success. All of you guys have the ability to come back next year. Yes, sir. Do you feel like you're building something special up front? Yes, sir. I definitely think we are building something special. You know, you look at the, the Russian offense and, you know, being sixth best in the country and, you know, I just – think you look at our bond and you know how we move on day to day you know you can kind of see that chemistry and that core of uh, you know friendship and and brotherhood there so I, I definitely think you know everybody has that extra year and, and stuff like that they would definitely want to be a part of it yes sir you mentioned the five sacks versus UCF mm -hmm. um, on Saturday after watching the film what was UCF doing defensively that allowed those sacks to come there you know they're um, there, there's some dogs, man. You know, we was watching them all week long. Uh, we knew that they were great pass rushers. Um, I think just watching the film and, and seeing, you know, it's, it's some little things that, you know, we kind of had hiccups on. Um, maybe shooting wrong with your outside hand and, and missing your punch or anything like that. So it was kind of really, it came really down to technique mostly. Any other questions from Nartanian? Nope. All right, thank you guys. Thanks, man. Appreciate it.